welcome to Comic Con. It's so busy today. It's Thursday. What do I expect? Help me. Don't stop. 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 Don't st
everybody so comic-con is finally over on day four or five if you want to count preview night um i'm just gonna say i spent way too much money but i am going to show you what i got at the con so first up i got some gundam models uh yeah i got unicorn gundam and Gundam Astray Red Frame. Uh, oh, so I look forward to building these. Um, sorry, I'm t I'm just very tired. So, so I got these. These are going to be fun to build, of course. Um, luckily, one day I met a very nice lady in line for. Uh, one of the things I wanted, or I had a ticket for, and she told me she had a ticket at another, bro another booth, specifically the Hasbro uh, Pulse booth. So, when she said that, I jokingly said, oh, can you get me something? And she, uh, she agreed. She, she, she um, totally said, yeah, sure. As long as I pay her back. Or, yeah. So, um, I got the Power Rangers Lightning Collection duo pack with red uh, dragon armor, red ranger, and the gold Zeo ranger. Um, I don't know if I'm going to actually open this up one day, but... Oh, I am so lucky I met that lady, because <laughs> she was really nice, and she got this for me, thankfully. Uh, but yeah, so, there's that. <laughs> um, then, of course, when I got the um, Gundam models over at the blend, uh, Blue Fin booth, I uh, saw something else I wanted, so uh, <laughs> I got uh, Galaxy Mega and Delta Mega, also known as the Astro Megazord and the Delta Megazord. So that's going to be wonderful to build. I'll put it with my uh, Shogun Zord and my Ninja Zord. By the way, I still need to contact Bluefin about the broken piece, see if they can send me a replacement piece. Um, if I can, I'll try try to keep this box all in one piece, because it's really beautiful, and I don't want to open it that way. Looks like I can just open it from the lid up here, so that's good. Um... So, the majority of all my purchases there were pops, but before I get to that, um, some small, a small booth had Ninja Sex Party 8-bit, uh, buttons. They also had shirts there, but I didn't get them. Uh, I saw this one and thought, yep, that's one I need. Uh, then I went to Think Geek and got their Commemorate the End, because uh, Think Geek is closing. So, the Defiant uh, Enterprise D and uh, the original, well, NCC-1701 Enterprise. And it also has all the star dates on which they uh, were destroyed, which I find funny. And, uh, there's a nice quote back there from Captain Jean-Luc Picard. Picard, the new series on CBS All Access. Uh, <laughs> but I went to Viz, and I met another girl there, and she was super nice. And we both agreed that if one of us got in, that we'd just say, 
hey, the other person's with us, so uh, we both wanted the same thing. Luckily, we both got the same thing. So we got Saitama One Punch Man uh, pen sets. One with him and one with his fist. So that was great. That was amazing. Okay, so now I guess on to uh, my pops that I got, which uh, at last count is uh, 24 pops. I got 24 pops. Uh, some of them were great prices, some were definitely overpriced, and some were uh, in the middle. But uh, let's start off with the 6 inch. So um, I got an armored titan and I got the female titan. Uh, mostly because I didn't have these before. I thought, you know, I'm only here once or four days out of the year. Five if you include preview night. And uh, I got a really good deal. I got um, 20 for this one. And I got 40 for this one. And seeing as how they don't make them anymore, that that was a pretty great deal, in my opinion. Um, although I did want the rest of them. You know, I wanted Levi. I already have those three. Um, sorry. Uh, one, Annie and Krista and... Um, Amir, Hanji, and Kenny, and Captain Irvin, Irwin, whatever. I want all of those, but, you know, I was tight on money, <laughs> apparently, near the end. So, uh, on to the uh, regular 6-inch pops. Um, I'm going to go through these relatively quickly. So, I got Hot Topic anti-venom or you know not too expensive uh, space ghost pretty good looking space ghost there oh this is gonna get very tall um, oh oh um, dang it's all the way at the bottom isn't it <sighs> yes it is give me a second okay so every year uh, I've been going there. Well, uh, I guess for the past three years? 2017? Yeah, 2017, when the, uh, I believe 2017, when the uh, exclusive that year was the Megazord, I, I've been going to this one booth ever since because they helped me and my brother out so much, and I just really want to give them a shout-out because... They are highly underappreciated, and they have such great deals. Uh, not not paid promotion, of course, but... Um, yeah, they help my brother and me out every year. It's uh, Sure Thing Toys, so... There is their Facebook, their Twitter, their Instagram. Um, they're based out of New Jersey. Sure Thing Toys... The, Thank you, first off, if you're watching this. Uh, you guys help me and my brother out every year. They help me get a Megazord. Um, I think it was 2017. And then last year, they got me um, a Voltron. One of the preview exclusive ones. And this year, uh, really, really, really great deals on uh, these three pops. And they are all Chase Pops. And wow, I'm just so happy that I met them and they're such great guys. <laughs> and they've been helping uh, my brother and me with great deals all these years. So first off, we have Crash Bandicoot in limited edition Chase. Uh, he's black and white, grayscale, I guess. Um, then we have <laughs> Ren and Stimpy Chase Pops. Um, yeah. When they're Dalmatians trying to get adopted, I guess. But still, um, they don't overprice their Pops at all. They have so many Chase Pops there. 
and it's just wonderful working with those guys and they help um, if they don't have a pop there they will actually help look for it <laughs> but yeah and they won't overcharge you at all so yeah sure thing toys so there's their uh, complimentary shout out <laughs> Okay, so back to everything else. Um, so, I have a old GameStop exclusive Deadpool. Um, I wonder if it says when they made this one. Um... <laughs> I don't see where it would say that. But yeah. <laughs> so a gray Deadpool. Um, this was also a GameStop exclusive. But um, I found a different booth that was selling it for much cheaper. But they just slapped their own sticker on it, I guess. Or they were also selling these... <laughs> dropped it. They were also selling these on their website. So Monster Store exclusive Venomized Black Panther, which I have been looking for for a while. Should have gotten it when it was out originally, but I think it was in like a case or something over at GameStop. Uh, where's the... Um, another Venom pop that I've wanted for a while and my brother got a while ago over at Frankenstein's in, oh, where is it, Pasadena? I think it's Pasadena. Uh, but I found there, actually a lot cheaper than where I was up in Pasadena. Uh, one of them was Venomized Ghost Rider, and the other one is Venomized Loki. So, um... Besides, um, besides getting the next Venom ones that are coming out, and uh, other exclusive ones like Full Suit Venom or Full Suit Carnage, uh, I think I'm done collecting the Venom Pops so far. But yeah. So, some of these are never coming out of their cases, like the Chase Pops. And uh, the ex exclusive pops. Um, so, another one that I was looking for for a while, and I should have gotten to that one booth about one minute sooner, really. But I found one, and I just need one more. It's a Gargoyles Angela GameStop pop. And they have the chase there, but if I was once, one minute sooner, I could have gotten that one and this one. So now all I have to do is find the chase variant of this, which is Angela in stone. And then, yeah, I'll, I'd have completed gargoyles until they come out with the rest of them in stone. Okay. Um, so, another exclusive is AAA Anime Spider Carnage. Also, not horribly overpriced. Actually, it was about what you would expect. You know, $15, 20 Um, but yeah. Thought, you know, Spider Carnage, really good pop. Or, at least it looks really good. Huh. <laughs> So I figure might as well get it. Plus they have like four or five thousand of them. <laughs> so next year, AMA exclusive or triple anime exclusives will be there. And I might get those as well. Plus who knows how many extra of actually I think this is last year's triple A anime exclusive as well. So who knows how many extras they'll have next year of 2018's. Um, 
another one that I got from the booth that was selling those is... Well, I never noticed that before. Is uh, Glow in the Dark Limited Convention Exclusive Todoroki from My Hero Academia. Yeah. Also, not horribly overpriced, thankfully. Although they really should have let me pick out my own, but they were just handing them, saying, you said which one you wanted, and they would give it to you. I guess that's my fault for not exp yeah, inspecting it as soon as they handed it to me. But you know, to each their own, I guess. Okay, we're almost done, surprisingly. So, uh, there it is. Uh, the next one is Batman First Appearance. Now, of course, you can just get this one over at your local comic book store, FYE, or comics and stuff, or wherever. And, uh, get it there. Um, actually, it was only one dollar more expensive, which wasn't horrible. But, yeah. It's pretty good. I think. Next is... Mega Man! Because uh, I'm a fan of Mega Man, and I wish I found a better box of this one, but this one is Mega Man Firestorm. But I also got Mega Man Quick Boomerang, uh, Napalm Bomb Mega Man, and Mega Man Retro, which you can barely see, so let me just... There we go. Um, all these were about... Okay, I definitely overpaid for this one right here. This one... This one I paid 30 for. I go to another booth, I find it for 20 So I definitely overpaid for that one. Because I thought, you know, Hey, I found it! I've been looking for so long! Uh, and then I go to the next booth, and oh no, I overpaid by 10 bucks. Uh, but, anyways, so I could have gotten that for 20, I got that for 30, I got this one for 20, I got this one for 15, and I got this one for 15. So, yay, yay, yay. <laughs> okay, so I can't do anything about it now. Time's already passed, you know, they all have, um, no returns or exchanges. So, something I'm just gonna have to live with. Okay. Now, on to the last bit. Um, I was able to get my hands on some exclusives this year, which is actually very hard for me to do. Um, so first, uh, I went to the San Diego Comic-Con, uh, Funko crossover event, and got Toucan, the mascot for San Diego Comic-Con, and I got Tote-Wielding Batman. Um, yeah. So luckily, I did not overpay for these, I paid... I paid the price of 15 each, which wasn't horrible. Not at all, actually, considering they're exclusives, and I believe they're, they are only available at San Diego Comic-Con, so next year I'm going to see a whole bunch of them, because they open the, uh, the, um, open the sales to everybody there. Uh, around 4 today, and around 5 or 6 yesterday. So at least I got these for a relatively cheap price, and I don't have to pay that price next year. Yay! Now, the next two, um, I kind of feel sick about. Because I could probably just went to Walmart and got this one. Um... 
It's a glow-in-the-dark loot llama. See, you, you aren't actually paying for the pop, you're paying for the sticker. You're paying for this. Let me just zoom, focus. You're paying for that. The Funko Limited Edition sticker. While other times they'll say, uh, like, summer, con uh, summer convention exclusive, and that'll be $15. No, no, I paid way more than I should have for this one. And for the next one. But the next one, um, next one's been on my list since I found out it was coming out. So, also I have the, uh, not the original, but the, uh, Barnes & Noble exclusive of it. And if you know me and my channel, and you watched my video at the beginning of this year with all my pops in it, then you know which one I'm talking about. I, I just don't want to talk about how much I paid for this one, but... I am not happy with myself, and I am happy with myself at the same time. So I got Ultraman. I got Toy Tokyo San Diego 2019 Limited Edition Glow in the Dark Ultraman. Oh, I definitely overpaid for this one. But here's the thing. It's Ultraman 1. If you haven't watched it before, watch the original. There's the anime on Netflix, which basically is the original or the original character, but like 30, 40 years in the future. Uh, <laughs> I don't get me wrong. I'm happy I have this one. It'll only grow in value because of. Well, I spent the entire con asking around if anybody had this. Uh, yeah. So, luckily I found it today, the last day of all days. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's it. That's, that's all my pops that I bought. That's everything I bought at Comic-Con. Feel a little sick with myself? I spent way more than I should have. But I think I still have at least three or four hundred dollars saved up that I have not spent. So yay. Also, besides all the freebies they've given out. Uh so that's it. That's that's it. Um 2019 San Diego Comic Con is officially done and over with. And, well, I just look forward to 2020, and I need to start saving money. So, thank you all for watching this entire video. I'm sorry that I don't have a lot of video beforehand of, you know, the convention floor, or stuff going on there, or statues from Sideshow toys or sorry that I don't have a lot of footage of that stuff but you know what I had fun uh, friends went I made new friends uh, I met some actors so you know what I had a great time and if I'm lucky enough to go next year I look forward to going next year so thank you all for watching this very long, very, very long, um, vlog, I guess you would call it, of San Diego Comic-Con 2019. Remember to, <laughs> sorry, remember to like this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you never miss another video, and go check out my merchandise shop, because you will help me very much for next year and I will see all of you in the next one. So long folks.